Hello, everybody, and welcome to Benjamin Magnus and Budisphere Bob play Hearts of Iron 3 Black Eyes 8.5 Beta, I think we're playing? I'm pretty sure that's the latest version of the mod. But anyway, uh, I am the United Kingdom. Ben gave me a link and I downloaded the thing. Yeah, <laughs> he clicked the link, he downloaded the thing, he's doing what I told him to do. Uh, I am playing yeah, as... Uh, what am I looking at? I don't Kingdom. even know what are all these symbols. Oh my god! And, and Bob is France. We were doing an allied playthrough as was so voted by the viewers. And, um, yeah, it's been a while since I've played Black Ice. It's been a good, it's been a very long time, but there's... If half of the things I've heard about the, the, the intense nature of this mod are true, this should be pretty good. Okay. Um, so what we need to do first is, let's see. Go to the national decisions and basically set up the game. Leader backstory. Uh, you get to set you, you. Let's start with the leader backstory. You get to customize your Jesus, channel a where, little bit. Where is this? Hang on, leader backstory. It's the last okay. one there. Sounds good. Or we could just skip it if you don't want to do that. I mean, you, you could just leader backstory. What is this actually doing? It here? just lets you customize your nation a little bit for your own play style based on like uh, your, you no, know, your say, given the the uh, 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 small backstory you give your giving your leader to, and it'll give you more resources or more IC or you know different attack bonuses and stuff like that. Huh, okay. Well, I mean, why not? Let's do it. So, we're talking about my mother first? That was going on here? <laughs> yeah, I, your mom. Sounds right. good. Let's get started. Uh, but really quick, I mean, really quickly, you can go, you, you don't have to bother reading through all this stuff. It's a lot of just fluff, but you can get, a, you can see, you can get little bonuses depending on what your backstory looks like. You spread patriotism out of, out of your passion, but now everyone's drinking your Kool-Aid. <laughs> everyone should be drinking my Kool-Aid. What are you talking about? Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Territorial pride, research efficiency, but unit recruit time. I'm thinking research efficiency. Research efficiency? You're thinking that? That's what I'm going to go with as the UK. Unit recruit time plus 7%. Yeah. Oof. Which is a big one. But the rest of them... Daily descent... Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I'll do that too. Oh no, my father. Uh, <laughs> what was my father? Is he a soldier? Was he a merchant? Make him more money. Leadership modifier eight percent. That's a big one. Efficiency of production, money, land organization, air organization, naval organization. I'm going to go with leadership modifier there. So what you get, organization, regain rate, land organization, air organization, naval organization, all take a malice. That's, yeah, that's what I'm going with. But I mean, you, you're you France, so you do your France thing. I'm actually going to do the IC efficiency for production at, for 1%. I get 10% less money, mm -hmm. but I like the IC bonus on that. My childhood. <laughs> oh. Let's see. I think I know what I'm doing with this one. Uh, I'm going to go with the... Your parents sent you off to military school, hard attack, soft attack, and take a little bit of a resource hit. That's what I'm going with. I love to daydream and build things. I've played with blocks. <laughs> Uh, let's see here, national man and power monitor minus five percent. Famous. I'm gonna think I'm gonna go with famous industrialist. I see one percent. Because I grew up in a very poor family, my national manpower modifier is minus five percent, but I consume one percent less supplies, mm. and my my need for toasters is is less too. <laughs> oh, I won't need so many French toasters. French toasters. Is that what you call your air force? Oh. Oh snap! Shots fired. <laughs> Uh, I was, yeah, I grew up in a poor family. My childhood hero. Uh, famous industrialist. <laughs> your your ch your your childhood hero was like like Rockefeller. Rockefeller. <laughs> uh, land build Carnegie. speed, air force, naval build speed. I like that. For the UK, I'm gonna. Uh, as a young adult, you became a sailor in the navy. 
Okay, I finished my backstory. Let's say the famous industrialist. As a young adult, so what do we got here? What did I do? I don't know what you did. What have I done? What have I done? <laughs> National Revolt Risk. Well, I don't think Revolt Risk... If this goes the way I think it will, I'll probably be doing the whole government like, in exile thing. Revolt Risk is... Keeping your Revolt Risk down is, like, super important if you're, like, Nazi Germany. Nazi Germany? Yeah. All right. Air Bill, uh, Soldier in the Army. I became a soldier in the Army. Okay, I think that was done. That makes I sense. Think. All right, so um, I think that was the last thing. I think nothing left. Yeah. So there's there's like a shit ton of decisions here. Yes, um, and this is all just like pre-game setup kind of stuff, just to customize how you Jesus. want the game to play out. But we can get through it pretty quickly. Uh, national peacetime recruiting policy. Let's see, United Kingdom. Let's put a strict filter on who can call themselves our nation's finest. Oh, okay. National manpower modifier uh, recruiting. Okay, I get it. I get it. Basically, you say, do I want shitheads or not shitheads? I'm gonna go with uh, put a strict filter on our on who can call our nation's finest. That's what I'm doing. I'll I'll say I prefer a more balanced, insane approach. Balanced, insane, crazy. I like that. <laughs> Recruit African <laughs> units. I, I don't know if that's that's probably a me thing. I have that too, actually. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and do that. Bank of International Settlements. Uh, IC plus five percent. Leadership modifier plus five percent. Uh, give give Switzerland some supplies. Okay. Oh, so if you need extra cash, you can sell sell it to the Swiss. Stuff. All right, Black Eyes nineteen thirty six star. Okay, do you want to put this on normal difficulty? Uh, how do I? Where's the thing? Black Ice nineteen thirty six start. Uh, okay. Based on the legendary ice mod by today, we're proud to bring you black ice. <laughs> um, I, All right, so normal. What's going on here with normal? It's just it, it just changes up a bunch of modifiers. I see. All right, well, we'll go ahead and make that normal. Normal sounds good to me. Uh, game guide. We don't. Yeah, oh, there's a game guide. Send help to Abyssinia. Let's see. Do How do we help Abyssinia? Send supplies and troops. So I lose two fifty fuel, two hundred five hundred supplies. Well, I can I can spare that stuff. Yeah, I think so. I can send troops too. Send troops, lose manpower, lose fuel. Use. Uh, Italy doesn't like me if I do that. Yeah, I'm sending troops. Well, Italy's not gonna like you know, either of those things. I'm gonna send troops though as well. Okay, and that's the thing. Uh, the rest of the stuff should be events to do specific things like building up your rail network, road, road network, ports, things like that. Um. Is there usually not just not just 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 click them? I mean, because I think you have to pick. Well, do you have to do them all, or can you just do one? I don't remember. This decision also grant you new strategic I, effect, giving better supply throughput and industrial efficiency. Okay. I I click seaport railway and road network, and I think they're just good. Okay. <laughs> so road network. Yay. Military academy. Just do it all right now. Military academies need to get access to the HQ technologies. That sounds Economic like a very important boost. thing. Let's do that. Economic boost. Uh, let's see. Short-term investment is IC and less money. Long-term investment is less IC, more money. Um, uh, I guess I'll take the money for now. Because right now... I'm going to make the short-term investment on that, actually. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm, I'm doing the other one because I don't have a lot of IC as, as England starting out with, so it's not a big hit. See, one of two things is going to happen here in this particular game. I, I'm either going to be the idiot savant <laughs> in, in, in this, or I'm going to face play miserably. Either way, it's going to be amazing. So. Yeah, either way, it's going to be entertaining. So annual espionage focus. What happens here? Uh, it's a little bonus, depending on what you want to do. You get this every year. I'm going to go with increased national unity. So I get organized and secret service, which my espionage bonus is minus 5%, counter espionage minus oh, 5%. So, many so, is that, so is this the thing where... Where I'm taking a malice now for bonuses later? Is that what's going on with the espionage focus espionage thing? Espionage focus is something you re-up every year. So you just pick every uh, in January of every, every year, you'll get to pick what you want to do with it. Right now, I just put it on increased national unity because mine's at 80%. 
Oh no no, it's an event thing I've got here. What? I have I have an event thing called annual espionage focus. This this yeah. decision allows you to place emphasis on your espionage and spy. Yeah, click on it. Oh, okay, it's another little event thing. A new day okay. is All dawning. Right. Player backstory done. Well, our national uni is pretty shit. We are we are at thirty four percent. So, increased national uni might be a good one. Let's do that. All right. Uh, and what like what that. you're gonna want to do is when you're done with that is click off diplomacy and then open it back up and it just there's gonna be more decisions to to do. For the love of God. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, it's, it's like mostly just difficulty of... settings. Okay, well, let's let's get through those first. So German difficulty, what this should be normal German. Uh, I'm gonna or? say normal. Um, Eastern Front settings, the Soviet Union. Do we want? How do we? Do we want the Germany, the the Germany, the Germans to do well against the Soviet Unions? Or normal? Do you just want to set it up normal and see what happens? Uh, I would do everything as normal. Well, I suppose. Normal. What, what do you mean by normal? Because there's no modifiers. Very easy, easy, normal, and hard. Oh, I'm just putting. Uh, if you said normal, I already clicked normal. <laughs> Let's just put everything on normal. Okay. Uh, Eastern Front. Normal Ger Normal Soviets. Normal, nor normal Germany. Normal Italians, Japanese, normal. Just put every. Let's just put everything on normal and see what happens. China. Normal. China. I love China. I love China. I love China. A new day is dawning. What's going on here? Oh, uh, that just an activates you as a unit on the map. <laughs> I, I have an avatar. Yeah. Annual national focus. What's going on here? Okay. Uh, basically, just. W w you know, you, you can see the modifiers. It's all just modifiers. Uh, what you want to build this mm -hmm. year? National manpower modifier. Uh, build up the real. I got build up the Royal Air Force. Forget the military for now. Let's. We need to build up the economy. Build up the Royal Navy. Science. Uh, let's see. I think I would go early. Early game. Science. I'm gonna do science. And, and uh, we're, we're finally done with early game setup. <laughs> kind of. I'm still mulching through it here. So I could gain a manufacturing plant with level one in Bordeaux if I do this. I can get efficient manufacturing plants. Which gives me supplies 10%. Well, I guess I'll... Uh... I mean, all these modifiers scare me. <laughs> <laughs> and there's black ice is all about the modifiers. That is what the game is. Is all right. Well, uh, I'll, I'm going to go balls deep. I'm just going to go ahead and build the new manufacturing plants. Is what I'm going to do. My navy is just got awful huge. All right. Anything else? So I've got the game guide. What's the game guide got to tell me here? And just in basic information about the game. Okay. Well, I'll get back to that some other point. No, oh, I forgot. I forgot then... about all the black ice technology. Jesus Christ. Maybe this could be episode zero. <laughs> um, let's see. I need a little bit on officers, but not a lot. Diplomacy could have a little bit. Espionage can have a little bit. Alrighty. Leadership. Yes. So what's the so I'm now a thing on the map here. Yes, you can't you can be killed. Does that end the game? Or? I don't know. It never happened to me. I've never, I've never <laughs> died. So, are am I the top tier then, like HQ unit? Then, am I, is that what I'm looking at? Uh, kind of. I mean, you can't. I think you could attach yourself to units, but you're actually you should be in your capital. Uh, I don't have anything but the top tier HQ unit in Paris right now. Because time isn't ticked by yet, so yeah, I might be it, waiting for that. Yeah, it could be that. All uh, right, now I'm in my tech. This research looks all different. Yes, it is 100 percent different. Oh my god, I have, a, I have a nation tab? A nation tab, you do. Industry, electronic, construction, secret. That's a shady looking guy in that secret tab, let me tell You're you. a shady looking guy. I, I'm six foot tall, I'm not shady at all. <laughs> well, I, no, you are, you cast a large shadow. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. Terrible jokes. And uh, well, what? Uh, where's my? Here's industry. Oh, there's. I Apply, forgot how many, how much. Oh, I forgot how much of the stuff there is. Jesus Christ. There's. What have you gotten me into, Ben? 
steel electro welding allows construction of steel refinery see I've, I've actually played a little bit of black ice for hearts of iron 4 which is not by any means i don't think done um no it's so it's, i know it's not. i know there's there's a little bit of stuff but there's there's still all the same things where you can build like steel refinery. yeah there's so much more stuff going on here mm -hmm. because I, like i clicked on a province and there's a lot of um i can build steel refiners coal mines oil rigs oil refineries jesus christ Yep, there's lots of things. All of the things. Oh my god. Alright, well, what I'm gonna focus on is making the UK great again. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna do the basic stuff. Education, investment, medicine, which is co uh, uh, casualty trickle back and attrition. What is the difference between industrial capacity and heavy industrial capacity? Uh, where's that? Industry? Well, I'm just looking at... Right, like You click on problems, there's all the things you can build, right? There's industrial capacity and then heavy industrial capacity. I think I'm difference. pretty sure heavy industrial capacity uh, is much, much, much more. It, it, it's like 10 IC per tick or something like that. It, it gives you a ton, but I think you have to have 10 regular IC built up in the province already before you can do that. So it's like Monopoly. Yeah, kind of. Hmm. I need four houses before I can get a hotel. Mm hmm here so industry electronics God damn it it's been so long since i played this i forgot how bat crap crazy it is infantry construction construction tech might be a good one yeah let's do some industry new industrial zone electronics radios conscription industry manpower down i see up i'm fine with it as the uk i don't think manpower is going to be super critical for me Agriculture. Airbase blueprints, yes, definitely. Road networks, well, no, that's 1937 tech. 1937 tech. Secret tech. Rocket tests. Do I want rockets as the UK? I don't think so. Why not? You don't want those sweet UK V2s? No, I don't think I do. The meteors. Um, like, like any, any infantry or naval stuff? Yes. Let's see, let's go to... Transports carriers, carrier tech, carrier damage control systems, capital ships, definitely cap pocket battleships. I'm gonna skip out on that. Damage control systems. Ooh, I got big guns on the British ships. Good to know. Oh man, those guns. All the British guns. Uh, light cruiser stuff, heavy cruiser stuff. Yeah, I'm doing. I'm doing navy. I'm going navy. Transports. Britannia rules the waves. Oh, well, I would hope so. Damage control tech. Submarines. Don't really care about them too much. Okay. I think I'm set there. Maybe we should let t time tick for a hot second. For an hour? For an hour <laughs> and see what happens. Unless you're not ready yet. Oh my god, it's something happened. The Soviet Union wants to give me money. <laughs> I'm I'm going through all my technology right now, which doesn't doesn't feel like I have a whole lot of points to spend on this, like I did in uh, in vanilla. I don't know if maybe this is the difference between Italy and France or or what. Um, uh, with that, I don't but know. I. Oh my God! There's so many planes, but but I I, I have no like I have like 20 different air wings spread across the planet. So the first thing I'm going to do is take them all. And move them together so I can organize them. Everybody go to London. Rebase. Fly to London. <laughs> and I miss some. <laughs> Everybody go to the place. African army recruitment is its own thing, huh? Infantry regiment upgrades. Okay. Man, I forgot what I was getting my ass into with this. <laughs> Well, I, you know, I'm used to playing Hearts of Iron 4 where it's just like, go do the thing! Go, I'll be here. <laughs> Ooh, defensive position designs. That sounds good for, like, the Maginot that I'm going to have, obviously, the Germans go around. Uh, yes, the Maginots. Well, you can see where all the forts are <laughs> right now. Um, Disclaimer, we are joking when we say Magonauts. Oh my god, yeah. Freaking unscrub plebeians out there in the comments. Jesus Christ. Uh, your comments are Camouflage bad and you design. should feel bad. 
Sorry. Security units. Well, I'm not going to need a whole lot of suppression quite yet because we're not going to be a conqueror. Yeah. At least I don't think I'm going to be a conqueror. Have you thought about uh, where you're going to extend the Maginot? What are you talking about? We have the best play placement of the Maginot. Oh. Maginot's got already in the best place. Yes. Yes. Well, yeah. Yes, I, I'm. I'm. I'm aware. It's. It's in the best place. But, I mean, there could be more Maginot. You could Maginot in increasingly better and more. Nonsense. It's, it, is, it is fine where it is. All right. Everybody go to London. <laughs> and all the shit. This is this is what I do. I'm, I'm, I'm putting everybody together in the same spot so I can get a good overview of what the fuck I'm looking at here. You know, what we're also going to do is the French is we're going to mix in our tanks with our infantry so they're super ineffective. <laughs> That sounds like a French thing to do. Reserve fleet. China! My China squadron! Military police I don't need. India station. Uh, mountain! Mountain unit training, probably something I'd like to have. There's gonna be a lot of mountain fighting, I imagine. I think I'll leave my tech list as is, probably there for now. I'm just telling Ev, everybody go to... Uh, Portsmouth. Africa Station. Telling, I'm telling every ship station across the entire planet to go home. Yeah, we've got a lot of tech already lined up. We don't have a lot of points for leadership to spread around for that kind I, of stuff I anyway, have like so 11. We're... I have 8. Yeah, so... 8 and a half. So we're not that far off from each other. Let's see here. So what do I got? I've got the Dunkirk, the Strasbourg, the Jean de Vienne... The Marseilles, Montcalm, Georges Leguis, the lawyer. <laughs> the lawyer? Sure that's a word. And then a, a destroyer flotilla and a submarine and a tank regiment, looks like. There's some kind of tank cavalry unit. Cavalry unit that's being produced right now. Oh, in your production. Um, yeah, that's what I'm looking at right my, now. My production is planes. Or planes and, planes and ships. Light cruisers, the Ark Royal... All that good stuff. God, we French are a fussy bunch. We need so many toasters. My God. Let's see. What are we on right now? Um, the apparently, let's see. Production. Yeah, for a uh, forty-eight IC on consumer goods for me right now, which and I have fifty. I have fifty-four available, and I need forty-eight for consumer goods. And oh my, my upgrades right now, Bob, are um, 133 IC. And I have... Yeah, I'm I'm in that neighborhood, too. I have too. six to work with at the moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to be building some IC capacity, I think, in some of these places. So one thing I noticed on the production tab, I didn't see a place to just start queuing up factories. Is that not a thing in Black Ice? Like, you have to go to the province and start building I think you have to go to the province there. and build it there. All right. Well, we're not going to stick all of our industrial capacity on the Maginot. We're going to go, like, to Poitiers or something. Well, come, come over. So, you, you know, put them close to England. I swear that, that after in Germany takes over, I won't bomb them. <laughs> God damn it. I know what happened in an alternate reality. Mm-hmm. So all this. God damn it. My and we're all massive. these, all those other... All of those other friggin' uh, is there a hotkey for this? It, I doesn't do it. Uh, for industrial. Yeah, I believe it's capital I. So put on cap locks. There we go. It is case sensitive. Funnily enough. So all this industrial capacity is going to be like Bordeaux and then northward. Yeah. Because we need a lot of it. We are a backwards people. Mm -hmm. And we're going to spread it out a bit. I don't know if there's like an efficiency modifier. I, Black Eye seems to like its modifiers a lot, as you've mentioned yes. before here. So we'll we'll just spread it out for now and see if there's anything that happens with it later. Yeah. <laughs> and then production. So all of, all of this is going to get shoved to the top. Because we need some IC, goddammit. Because uh, so far, all we're doing is producing consumer goods is all we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. uh, part of the reason is we have, like, we have, there's a lot of 
Uh, like right now, I have Great Depression effects minus 50% IC. Full civilian economy minus 40% IC. So there, there's 90% of the IC right there. So right now, there's no IC available for basically anything. I'm not a fan of what my oob looks like right about now. Well, why, why, why don't we unpause and actually and just leave it on speed one? <laughs> so that so that we can actually say we got past at least a few hours on the first episode of this series. Man, the, the, I, I can tell you right now that the the people who came to my channel for Hearts of Iron 4, you know, solely for that and have never played Hearts of Iron 3 are not going to like the pacing of Black Ice in Hearts of Iron 3. Well, they'll have to get over it. Got to have to suck a lemon. Um, well, I don't know about sucking a lemon, but, you know... Uh... <laughs> It's just it's it's much slower, much much slower. Just I th I think you're going to really start enjoying this, Bob, the first time that like there's city combat and and it's like oh it's actually difficult to fight in urban conditions. The reserve put fleet. all of my all of my aircraft get to go over here. Are you gonna do the same thing I did? Everybody just get in one spot so I know where you're at, and I'm going to look at all of you, see what you are, and we're going to organize you appropriately. Don't forget you've got planes and your colonies and stuff, too. Don't remind me. T trust me, I had to go across the whole planet and be like, okay, everybody go back to London. We just got from how, do I, how do I select everybody at once with this? Uh, from the outliner? Okay, it's, yeah. I don't know if you can. No. God damn it. You, you cannot from the outliner. Son of a bitch. <laughs> that would be far too simple, Bob. I, I just, I know I have unreasonable demands. I mean, maybe you could do that at Hearts of Iron 4. Yeah, you can. All right, Hearts of Iron 4 has one thing that's better. <laughs> okay, Whoa, more, more stuff. Okay, this stuff is pretty cool. Great course, Depression. Great we Depression ha effects. God damn no, it. That, we have lost the effects of the Great Depression. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. So, Excellent. So now your, your IC basically should have like doubled your effective IC. So engine type, aircraft production, uh, protection level, and tank armor type. You have that event on the screen right now, correct? Uh, give me just one second. I was actually just fiddling with my IC right now. It was it was producing more toasters than I needed. So mm -hmm. let's see here. Yep. So engine type, aircraft production, protection level, and tank armor type. So basically, you're going to pick Jesus a. Jesus uh, You're just going to go through, and it's going to customize modifiers how you want your tanks and your planes to work. Mm hmm. So, like, what I would suggest first is um, just just pick, you know, you know, pick one, and then pick one, the second, and then pick the third. So, like, um, light protection uh, will allow your aircraft to maintain greater range and speed in combat with less fuel usage. Such aircraft will be cheaper and faster to build. Aircraft Heavy prote protection will give your aircraft greater hitting power and the ability to absorb damage at the cost of some speed and range. Um, I would say that for us, protection level would probably be more... would, would, be, more, would be better. I'm not sure you're seeing protection level. Aircraft protection level. It's the first paragraph on the event that popped up. Oh well, I, that's the flavor text stuff that you're talking. Oh about yeah, there. I was I was I was I was looking at the modifier stuff here and. So like light aircraft gives you let's see air build speed, and and a better intercept ability. Heavy aircraft gives you air organization and air intercept efficiency of a greater degree. What would you prefer? Being able to build your planes faster or have them have higher organization and better intercept abilities? I think I'd rather have them count for more as opposed to just spamming the field yeah, with them. That's the same. So I'm going heavy aircraft. So heavy aircraft, and then, and then we want and then type of gas, yeah. gasoline versus diesel. Type of engine uh, uh, unlocks related armored fighting vehicle engine tech. Choosing gasoline give you overall supply bonus, speed bonus, and small amount of toughness. Choosing diesel gives you better combat performance, battle speed, 
and better toughness. So let's see, that would be diesel engine would be combat movement speed 4% and heart attack 5%. Gasoline engine would be build speed and supply. I'm going with heavy aircraft diesel engine welded armor, I think, is the one I want to go with. That's exactly yeah. what I was looking at, too. Basically, the, more bang for your buck on, across the board. Yeah. Personality effects. Do you want Stalin to be Stalin and Hitler to be Hitler? Yes. I didn't even get that. Oh, well, if I got a flavor event that said, do you, do you want Stalin to be Stalin-y and Hitler to be Hitler-y? <laughs> How Hitler is Hitler? How Stalin is Stalin? All, all of the Stalin. But we are at time. Jesus we Christ. We passed one day. Yeah, but, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe we could call this like an intro or an episode zero, or just just flat out go fuck it. Episode one. I don't know. We'll figure that out. Yeah, episode one's that. fine. We'll just let's just do episode one. Fuck it. We'll do it live. Um. Yes, but thank you for joining us, everybody. I know it was very slow, and it was just us talking about the customization of the setup. But that's how Black Eye starts. I mean, frankly, if you didn't enjoy this one, you'll probably enjoy the next episode a lot better, where we'll actually be playing the game. So uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And we will see you guys next time. See you later.